Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In Fatal Frame, Maiden of the Black Water, let's continue on. We're still in the uh, tutorial, basically, but we're here with the uh, kind of the main main character, Kozukata Yuri. And here they are explaining where she has kind of a um, psychic power. And then she is going to uh, help out uh, Kurosawa san, who also has that power. And then I want to draw attention to this uh, upcoming scene. It's one of the more impressive that I've seen in any medium. Also the uh, sound design in this game, very subtle, but effective. The picture of the sun here I thought was very affecting. Usually the sun is like a very uh, like bright, you know, life-giving, cheerful kind of a symbol. But there it looked like, I don't know, the mouth of hell or something. <laughs> but like burning and angry and super humongous. But that was a uh, flashback to a uh, closer time. Compared to the uh, flashback from before. And then here we are with uh, Kurosawa san, who is definitely my type. <laughs> my type of woman is the one that will have nothing to do with me. <laughs> but she has that uh, psychic power, and then she's kind of uh, training the uh, main character here and explaining the uh, camera to us, which of course is uh, present in all the Fatal Frame games. Really interesting game mechanic, and it works really well, and it kind of feels claustrophobic while you're using it because you can't, you know, see around you. So that adds to the uh, scariness. And I could talk about the uh, kind of the Japanese people, their uh, relationship to cameras and photography. I don't know if I'll have time in this video, but in the future, for sure. Yeah, but again, that sound design. <laughs> But we can lock on, and then like we can uh, shoot like different targets, multiple targets in uh, one frame to do extra damage, get extra points. got the flashlight. <laughs> and then uh, this main character, also dressed pretty ridiculously. Uh, but here we're gonna skip the whole uh, going through this uh, abandoned inn. This is after the uh, kind of the first enemy fight. And this is something that we see a lot of in uh, kind of Japanese media. Is the older and then the younger 
uh, kind of pair of the same sex. And then there's the uh, just the implication of uh, other stuff. <laughs> oh, we got another uh, flashback here. And then all of the uh, Fatal Frame games, they seem to um, have like uh, rituals. Maybe religious or uh, pseudo-religious rituals. And the Japanese have an interesting relationship with uh, religion as well. That might be another topic for another video. <laughs> The uh, kimono in this game are much more accurate than many other games out there. I don't think a little boy waving a knife like that would do a lot of damage, but <laughs> maybe we'll get more uh, details on that later. Okay, male protagonist. When I saw this, I was like, boo. <laughs> and then I rolled my eyes when I saw this. But this is another of a uh, same sex, older and younger pair duo. And then uh, we retrieve this uh, photo album from that abandoned inn. Uh, requested by this guy, apparently. And we see the photo from the ritual. And I guess that uh, flashback was actually uh, this character, Den, their dream. A, a recurring dream. He may or may not be that uh, boy in the flashback. And I believe that is the end of the tutorial. Alright, we'll keep on keeping on. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.